Okay, let us quickly talk about some of the roles and responsibilities of a security administrator or a security engineer, whatever you call it. Basically, titles are going to change a little bit, but the responsibilities would pretty much remain same. So as a security engineer or as a cloud security engineer, you're responsible to ensure the security and compliance of AWS cloud infrastructure as well as the applications that run on top of it. So here you might work on things like virtual private cloud, identity and access management, role-based access control or simply RBAC, multi-factor authentication, creating security groups, etc. Basically anything in regards to security, you are the one who is going to take care of all that. And realistically speaking, pretty much all the services on AWS has to comply with security policies to some extent. So you would pretty much involve in the entire life cycle of the project, right from the requirement gathering all the way to the documentation. Next comes the monitoring and this is where you're going to monitor and review AWS security dashboards or alerts and notifications to identify and respond to any of the new security events or incidents that may arise during the day. And here you might use tools like AWS Cloud Trial or CloudWatch, Guard Duty to name a few and basically other any such logging and monitoring services to sort of collect and analyze the security logs and events for you to proactively detect the threats and plan to address those issues on time. Next comes automation and this is where you're going to use things like AWS CloudFormation or AWS CLI, Python or any other scripting language basically to sort of develop and implement any automated tools or scripts to automate the process of security tasks and basically you're responsible to integrate security into the entire DevOps workflow. And as a security administrator, you're not only the point of contact, but you're the one who is responsible to promote the culture of security across the organization or the teams that you work for. Next comes the incidence response planning, which means basically you're going to have a plan in place in case of an unfortunate incidence, for example, like a security attack. If you watch the movie Social Network, then you know that Mark Zuckerberg messes things up and the security administrator had to wake up in the midnight to sort of deal with that situation. That's incidence response basically. So you need to try your best to avoid any kind of loss or at least minimize the damage as much as you can and also plan on how you can prevent the same incidents from happening again. You might as well need to run some dry runs to make sure that uh, everybody is prepared to handle such scenarios. Next comes collaboration and this is where you're going to basically collaborate with other team members in your team or the cross-functional teams such as DevOps or development teams to sort of review any upcoming changes to the AWS infrastructure or applications and ensure they meet the security requirements and comply with the established security policies of the organization. And you're the one who need to guide or provide guidance or suggest on some of the best practices to make sure everything complies with the security policies. Next comes the auditing. Basically, you're going to perform audits every once in a while on things like AWS account services and configurations by using some of the security tools or you might as well be using some of the security, third-party security tools or solutions or even manually doing things in order to perform the audit to find out any potential vulnerabilities, etc. Finally, we have documentation which is pretty self-explanatory. As I said before, you're going to involve in pretty much every stage of the project life cycle, and that also includes documentation. You're going to involve in helping the team document any of the security related documentation. Coming to certification, you're expected to do at least Solution Architect Associate certification exam. Of course, it's always best to clear the specialty exam we have security specialty exams specifically for this purpose. You can aim to clear that. If you want to have better prospects, then I also recommend you to clear AWS Advanced Networking Specialty. A lot of security administrators do all these certifications. So here is a sample job description 
of a security administrator or a security engineer. I just want you to pause the video and go through this real quick. Hope it makes sense. I'll see you soon.